Looks like Joe Mixon just destroyed Dalvin Cook's plans for a big payday. Obviously, we'll know more this afternoon, but Saquon Barkley, Tony Pollard, and Josh Jacobs might not be getting paid either. The NFL has completely devalued the running back position. Why is that? Well, it seems that the R in RPO isn't as valuable as some people have previously thought. I have a challenge for you. Without using Google, tell me who the running backs were that played in the Super Bowl last year. You had the Kansas City Chiefs against the Philadelphia Eagles. Can you name who those two running backs were? Well, I cheated. I had to use Google. I had no idea. One of them was Miles Sanders from the Philadelphia Eagles, who's now moved on to the Carolina Panthers. And the other is a guy named Isaiah Pacheco, who I'd never heard of. I don't even remember him playing in the Super Bowl. But those were the two backs, Miles Sanders and Isaiah Pacheco. Now I got a second challenge for you. What do you think those two backs were paid last year? Oh yeah, and I cheated again. This time I'm gonna to have to refer to my notes here so I don't get the numbers wrong. Um, let's see here, Miles Sanders, since moved on, signed a four-year $5.3 million contract with the Philadelphia Eagles, including a $1.9 million signing bonus. 2.7 of it was guaranteed, and that came out to an average annual salary of $1.3 million. Isaiah Pacheco, he was even more of a discount bargain. Isaiah Pacheco signed a four-year, $3.7 million rookie contract, including a whopping $80,000 signing bonus, and his entire contract, he had $80,000 guaranteed. That's it, $80,000 guaranteed, which made his average annual salary just over $930,000. So I have a question for you. If the two teams in the Super Bowl didn't pay their running backs big dollars, what makes you think that the Miami Dolphins need to pay Dalvin Cook big money? What makes you think that the Dolphins can't get the job done with Mostert, Wilson, and A.J.? So many fans are up in arms thinking about getting Dalvin Cook and they've been salivating and they can't wait. He all Cook coming. It doesn't matter. The two Super Bowl teams had two unknown running backs. Tell me if you knew Miles Sander and Isaiah Pacheco were going to be playing in the Super Bowl. You don't need the big name running back. It's obvious at this point that these guys make big money, but they're not going to be the reason that you get into the Super Bowl. Isaiah Pacheco was the lead running back on the Kansas City Chiefs, and I doubt any of you guys knew his name. So yesterday, Tom Pelissero and Ian Rappaport talked about Joe Mixon's contract. So this is how it played out. Tom Pelissero tweeted, the Bengals and running back Joe Mixon are finalizing a restructured contract that will keep him in Cincinnati. Mixon was due $10.1 million with a 12.791 salary cap number. The new deal frees up cash and cap for Cincinnati and keeps Mixon on the team. That's what the Miami Dolphins have to do. They need to find a way to get the cap space to get some linemen, re-sign or rather extend Christian Wilkins and forget the Dalvin Cook BS. Look at what Ian Rappaport said. Now here's the parameters of the deal with Joe Mixon as reported by Rappaport. Joe Mixon took a $4.39 million pay cut this year and a 4.67 pay cut next year. The guy just went, just took $8 million right off the top. The 2023 base is 5.5 and he can make an extra $2 million per year in incentive. Good, you think you're worth the money? Prove it and we'll pay you. This opens up the possibility of him sticking around the next year or so. There you go. That's what the deal is. That's all they need to pay Dalvin Cook. Doesn't make any sense paying him seven, eight, nine, ten million dollars. Hey Dalvin, you got five, you're gonna get five million. And we're gonna give you some incentives based upon carries and other things that might take you up to another two, but your base is gonna be five million. You know why, Dalvin? Because it's already been proven. Super Bowl level teams don't need to pay hefty prices for running backs. Look at last year. Philadelphia and Kansas City. Oh. And there might be one other reason why these guys were able to do what they did. Both the Kansas City Chiefs and the Philadelphia Eagles had extremely mobile quarterbacks. Maybe that's why Dolphins fans are salivating at Dalvin Cook because the Dolphins don't have a mobile quarterback. Tua can run when he has to, 
but he's not going to go out there and get you 100 yards in a game like Jalen Hurts. He's not going to elude people like he's a cheat code in a Madden game like Patrick Mahomes. Those two guys are extremely mobile. If they need to get an extra one or two yards, they can also rely on their quarterback. I don't think the Dolphins can do that with Tua Tagovailoa. Maybe that's why they need somebody like a Dalvin Cook, but I don't see it. If you believe in your offense, if you believe that the players that you've assembled can win, it's obviously been shown that you don't need a $10 million running back. You can say whatever you want. Derrick Henry was sitting home watching the Super Bowl. You can say what you want, but Josh Jacobs was sitting home watching the Super Bowl. You can say what you want, but Saquon Barkley was sitting home watching the Super Bowl. Isaiah Pacheco and Miles Sanders were in the Super Bowl, and neither one of them were paid anywhere near the kind of money some of these running backs are looking for. Now, I understand Saquon Barkley is looking for an excess of 10, 15 million to play for the Giants. God bless you. See if you can get it. But there is obviously no reason that the Miami Dolphins have to pay Dalvin Cook that kind of money. And in fact, with what Joe Mixon just took, it doesn't make any sense whatsoever to pay Dalvin Cook that kind of money. Hey, Dalvin, here's five. Here's some extra money for incentives. Take it or leave it. Don't let the door hit you on your way out. That's how I think. Let me know what you think. Is anybody catching on to this Barry guy? 